If you're running Windows 10 and it's running slow for you, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you 12 quick ways to easily speed up the performance on your Windows 10 laptop or desktop PC. Some of these tips may help you out if you're running a lower end to mid range system to reduce lag in gaming, increase your boot time, and improve your overall performance. These will all be system tweaks with no need to download any software or purchase any new hardware. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Number one, uninstall programs. When you purchase a new computer, it sometimes is loaded with unwanted software, often referred to as crapware. And sometimes we install programs we no longer need. Getting rid of these programs will help because many programs load processes when your computer is booted that can take up valuable RAM and CPU cycles. To uninstall these programs, let's click on the start menu in the lower left hand corner, select settings, which looks like a cog wheel, select apps. In the list, find the programs you no longer want. You can only uninstall one program at a time. Left click the program and then select uninstall. Other than freeing up RAM, you'll also free up hard drive space too. Number two, stop startup programs. Windows will launch several programs at startup, so they're available when you need them. The problem is that they can slow down your computer. To disable some of these programs from starting up, right click on your taskbar, select task manager, select the startup tab at the top. If you find a program that you don't need to start up when Windows launches, right click it and select disable. If you're unsure whether a program is needed, then leave it enabled. It's better to leave a program enabled than to disable a needed program. Number three, power settings. Windows 10 has a power saver plan, which will save energy, but will also slow down your PC. So let's go back to settings like we did earlier. So start menu, then settings, select system, in the left column, select power and sleep. Now select additional power settings. The system is currently set to power saver. Other options are balanced, which is recommended. It will balance performance with energy consumption. It looks like here the Dell plan is the same as balanced. The other option is high performance, which will favor performance, but may use more energy. I'll now change it to high performance. If you're on a laptop, you should consider balanced when unplugged and high performance when connected to a power source. On my laptop, I find the power saver mode slows it down too much. Number four, transparency. The Windows 10 see-through effect known as transparency is cool, but does use a small amount of resources. To turn it off while in the settings menu, select home in the upper left-hand corner, then personalization, in the left column, select colors, then scroll down and toggle off transparency effects. Number five, troubleshooter. The Windows 10 troubleshooter can help to find and possibly fix any issues that may be affecting your PC speed. For this one, it's best to go to the old control panel. So search control panel in the Cortana bar, then select it. Select security and maintenance. Then below security and maintenance, select troubleshooting. Then below the system and security heading, select run maintenance tasks. Then select advanced. Make sure apply repairs automatically is checked. Then select next and follow the on-screen instructions. Number six, special effects. There are a lot of special effects that are built into the operating system. Some of those can slow your system down. In the Cortana bar, type Advanced System Settings. Then select it. Under Performance, select Settings. Now you're in the Performance Options menu. In the Visual Effects tab, you could choose Let Windows Choose What's Best for My Computer, Adjust for Best Appearance, Adjust for Best Performance, or custom. My recommendation would be to select adjust for best performance, or you could select custom and unselect the visual effects that you feel you don't need. When you're finished, click okay. Number seven, run a system scan. 
You should run your favorite system protection software on a regular basis to check for viruses, malware, and spyware. Windows Defender is built in, or you could use third-party software like Malwarebytes or something similar. Number eight, boot menu. When you turn on your PC, there will be a boot menu that will be displayed for a short period of time before your operating system loads. While the boot menu is displayed, you can do things like start Windows in safe mode. The boot menu time is 30 seconds by default. So let's change that. Let's go back to advanced system settings to reduce that time. In the Cortana bar, type in advanced system settings, select it. Under startup and recovery, select settings. To the right of time to display list of operating systems, it's currently set to 30 seconds. Let's reduce that down to 10 seconds. So you could either use the arrows here or you could highlight this and put in 10. I wouldn't go any lower than 10 seconds to give you some time to use the boot menu when you need it. When done, select OK. Number nine, disk cleanup. This handy utility is great for getting rid of unwanted files on your PC. In the search bar, type in disk cleanup, select it. It says here that I can use disk cleanup to free up more than one gigabyte of disk space. Listed below, you'll see all types of files that can be deleted, including setup log files, temporary internet files, and others. I'm gonna tick them all. When ready, select cleanup system files, and then wait for it to finish. You'll only see a small increase in speed using disk cleanup if your drive is close to being full. Number 10, background apps. Microsoft allows a lot of programs to run in the background. This is great to access their features quicker, but it's a waste on system resources if you don't use them on a regular basis. So let's switch some of these off. So go back to the start menu, select settings. At the bottom, select privacy. In the left column, scroll down and select background apps. And then just go through this list, then just toggle off the apps you don't want to have running all the time. Number 11, notifications. Windows 10 has a lot of notification options that when turned off may slightly improve your performance. Let's head back to settings, start menu, settings, select system. In the left column, notifications and actions. Scroll down a little bit, and you can tick off any of these options that you choose. I will turn off Get Tips, Tricks, and Suggestions as you use Windows. If you keep scrolling down, you can tick off notifications from individual senders. Number 12, Cortana. Microsoft is persistent with Windows 10 to make sure that you use Cortana. Many of you have expressed your opinions that you don't like Cortana for many reasons, including privacy concerns. There used to be an easy way to get rid of Cortana, but now, other than doing a registry hack, the options are limited. Here's a simple way to reduce some of the resources Cortana is using. Click in the Cortana search bar, select Settings. For every option that is turned on, toggle them off. And as you can see, there are a lot of them that are already turned on. Microsoft really wants you to use Cortana, so if you toggle these off now, don't be surprised that with future updates, if Microsoft automatically turns them back on again. If all of these tips fail to give you the speed that you desire, it may be time to upgrade or replace the hardware on your PC. My number one hardware fix is to upgrade your RAM. In my experience, in every system where I've upgraded the RAM, I've always seen a noticeable improvement to the overall speed, and on most computers, it's not that difficult to do. Right now, the pricing for memory is not great. If you can wait, prices should come back down again. That concludes this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it helped you out. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified instantly of new releases. Let me know in the comments if you have any other useful tips for increasing the speed of Windows 10. For more Windows tips and other tech-related stuff, you're in the right place here on Tech Gumbo.